Hi there crystal souls, hope you're doing amazing today. I am coming with a new picky card reading and this one is your love prediction for the month of October. If you're looking for personal guidance, by the way, I have all the information down below. Same thing for my shop and my Instagram if you are interested. And by the way, on Instagram I'm posting some pick cards sometimes, so if you want, follow me up there. I'm also posting art and fashion, so if you're interested about these things, that's the place to be, I guess. I mean if you like what I create. If you want, you can also support my work and this channel and donate down below. You have a link especially for you. And by the way, when you are ready, when you pick your group, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. All right, I think it is time to start the reading. The reading? <laughs> the reading. Let's do it. Okay. So before I start this reading, I have two announcements to make. First of all, I created my second channel, so if you are interested, you can follow me out there. On this channel, I will be sharing a lot of meditations, as I told you about, and I'm going to share practices, spiritual practices, and so we can grow together and evolve together. So that will be more a channel for relaxation, learning, evolving, ascending spiritually. And I'm also going to share how I actually managed to you know, do my readings. So if you are interested about that, make sure to subscribe to my second channel. This will be linked down below, but this is also available on my channel, on my main channel. So thank you in advance if you are joining this other family. And the second announcement for you guys is the winners. The winners of the giveaway I was doing on my previous video. Here are the winners. The first one will gain a reading with me and the three other ones will gain a question answered by my pendulum by yes or no. So I will contact you guys if I wasn't reaching you. Make sure to comment down below so I can reach you and contact you and we can do this together. If you miss this opportunity, it's all good. I'm going to come with other giveaways. So if you don't want to miss this opportunity, then subscribe to the channel, join the family, and that's it. Now we can start the reading. So here's the first pile with the amethyst, the second one with the rose quartz, and then after you can choose between the letter number one or the letter number two. And if you wonder why there is only two power for this fitting, it's because I wanted to go in depth with this one. So I will talk about the actions, the place you are going to meet the person, what type of person this may be, how the couple may turn out into, or if you are already in this relationship, then this will talk more about the actions you need to take or things you need to have in this relationship for it to be perfect in October. So now take your time, meditate. If you want to pause the video, make sure to do it. Select your groups, I mean your group, your pile, and then the letter for extra messages. So I'm going to move them and start with the readings first. And by the way, you have the timestamp in the comments down below, so you won't have to search for your group or letters. Let's start with the first one. So for the first card, we have the Queen of Vessels. So this is like the Queen of Cups. So I'm seeing water energy here. Someone that is going to be very nourishing, very emotionally secure, in tune, calm, intuitive, very compassionate with people. Someone that may protect you. So I'm not sure if this is your energy or more on, I mean, I'm seeing feminine here, but this can be masculine as well. That may be someone that is wanting to protect you. That may be someone that is guided to you as well because I'm seeing the stars. So this may be divine guidance, your guides actually working on this union for you two to be with each other. I'm also seeing someone that is paying attention to things and this is why this person is going to be very nurturing. I'm really sensing water energy here especially. I mean this is a water card but it can be cancer especially because they're the mom in the zodiac so someone that is very caring someone that wants to protect others that wants to make people feel good in a relationship that's the type of person that may come or you may be this type of person and that may be some quality if this is you that they really like they want to be you know protected they want to feel good and in, in your presence so that may be the type of energy that is needed in this relationship in october for it to work so if you are single then maybe you need to show your nurturing side 
your compassion to the person in order for this relationship to work and go with the flow. I'm also seeing a lot of motion here, so change is coming and you may be manifesting this one. Although I'm seeing someone that may be a bit, um, a bit timid or maybe they hide themselves a little bit because you can see this hood on this card and this may be someone who is a bit, yeah, a bit shy to show off, maybe kind of thinking of the way to confess to the person. So I'm not sure who is meant to confess, but I, I can see some type of timid energy, someone that is staying in their shell a little bit or maybe in hermit mode, so they're not really going out so much or not really, um, you know, open or it's hard for you to open up to people. You only feel secure when people are going to meet your own energy and will make you feel protected and comfortable. And I think this is the type of person that is coming your way. And if you are with that person, then this means you need to be a lot more nurturing, protective, make this person feel secure, make this person feel seen. And because this is talking about emotions as well, expressing your emotions are going to be, is going to be very empowering in this relationship. Afterward, we have the strength card. And again, I'm seeing cancer here appearing, but you can have cancer in your chart or this person may have cancer in their chart or some water energy, something very nurturing, very protective, someone that is going to protect you, you know, with all these, this may be a bit, as I said, someone that can be a bit shy or distant in the beginning. And this is because they want to protect themselves. So they may be a bit cold or maybe a bit distant in the very beginning, but this is because they try to analyze if you are the right person, if they can feel safe emotionally, especially around yourself. So if someone is distant here, they may need to regain strength and also regain faith and trust in love and relationships in people in order for them to be in alignment. I'm seeing this constellation actually shining. So you are meant to shine in that relationship with that person or you are meant to show your true light, your spark. So do not be afraid to actually show who you truly are, to express yourself, especially emotionally. That's, that's what I'm getting here. So this person may be very touched that you can open up emotionally to them. But I'm seeing the stars being aligned here, all the stars guiding you as well. So this is for me some divine guidance and you may be directed towards someone you knew maybe in a past life or maybe you wanted to have a contract with that soul in this lifetime. So maybe a soulmate, maybe a twin flame. If you are on this twin flame journey, I'm not saying twin flame is higher than, you know, soulmates or anything, not at all for me. They're just different. They're just different. A soulmate is, you know, people you meet in other lifetimes, you create a bond, like you are a mate to that person. So of course they can be romantic or not romantic. Same thing with twin flames, actually. You know, twin flame is what? A twin flame is yourself just another incarnation, your split half of the soul that is pretty much in another body. So it's rather you want to be with yourself or not. And I think a lot of people are not really wanting to be with themselves or their other version because this person can be a bit different from you, of course. But that's what I'm getting here. Some type of divine connection. And this is because I think you guys are ascending and being more in touch with your emotions and with yourself, with your true essence. And this is why you are now, you know, entering in communion with people that are in the same vibrancy, energy, and on the same path. Afterward, we have the moon. So, and I'm not really surprised. I mean, water signs are very ruled by the moon. You may be a bit moody, moony, and you know, maybe the cycles of the moon are going to be super important for you to be more in touch with your emotions, maybe to sense energy coming. I truly believe you are very, very receptive to the energy around, to people, people's energy, people's mood. You can really imprint, you can really tune into how they feel even when you don't want to. So maybe this code is actually to inspire you to protect yourself from energies or from people's energy in order for you to be emotionally in tune because I'm seeing you being very sensitive in the month of October and this is a good thing, but also you need some balance to not be affected about all the energy going on because I'm sensing some something maybe a bit challenging and this is why the strength card came out for you to reside composed, 
balanced, for you to be strong, even though this may be a lot of things uh, that she was not really expecting. But this can be in a positive way as well, because maybe you was not expecting someone to come, but you are going to be surprised. And this is why you're going to be very, very filled with emotions. And I think this is going to be a very emotional month for you. And maybe you want to actually meet new people, connect with others. That's what I'm saying with all the constellations appearing in the cycle of the moon. This is like you actually finding your, your circle of friends, your soul family even, to shine. For you to even get answers. Because for me, the moon is showing clarity sometimes on dark parts of ourselves or dark moments of our lives. And this is for us to heal it. So when you are going to hear yourself and be ready for that relationship, then this is when you'll be presented this person. Because I'm seeing the constellation shining on top of the moon. So this is really helping you to connect with that energy, but also to shine with other constellations. So that may be with other people that are on the same soul family or on the same spiritual path. So you can connect deeply with them. But I'm also seeing cycles here. So this may be some type of transition emotionally that may happen in this relationship. But do not be afraid to show your true self. This can also be talking about some fear and confusions. So if this is the case, try to just trust the process. Try to just trust people a little more. And not just to see the darkness of the moon. Because there's a part of darkness and a part of light in everyone. Just like the moon is showing you with the cycles. So try to just be present in that energy and understand the depth of people, situations for you to connect deeply with all the cycles that they have been going through because you two have been growing through a lot of things. Afterward, I'm saying travel. So what I'm getting here, it can be a long distance relationship or it can be some transition as a symbol. Maybe you are meant to transition towards this person. Maybe you are meant to actually meet this person right now. So I'm seeing someone that is traveling and maybe you will leave someone behind. Uh, I'm not sure if this is for some people that are in a relationship about recognizing this person's this person was not really a fit for you. So you are meant to transition towards something new, towards maybe a new place or a new person that will feel like home because I'm seeing a castle on top of it. So rather it's you maybe chasing for someone that is kind of running away from you and even wanting to create more distance from you, then if it's the case, you have to recognize that this is not the person I'm talking about. This is not someone that is going to make you feel secure. This is not someone that is going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled or stable. No, if this is someone that is running away from you, you know, stop the chase because you're wasting your time and energy here. Now, if you are feeling like someone is really wanting to travel to you, but still, maybe it's a long distance relationship that is being described here. So maybe traveling, but then when the person is going away, it feels like some, some part of you is just, you know, being destroyed or being taken away with the person as well. So I'm seeing some closure that is needed. Um, and if you are in that long distance relationship, I think you are meant to travel to the person or find a way to get closer to the person. If this is symbolic, it can also be that you need to take actions to communicate to the person. So maybe text the person, send a letter, or give a call to the person, doing something like this in order for you to create a connection with that one. So this can be this transition of energy, taking actions to get closer so you can travel closer to the person or feel closer to the person. And if you are in a relationship, it can be that you two need some vacation or just to get closer or um, yeah, something like this. I really sense this this closureness that needs to happen. I'm really sensing this nurturing and protective energy, so I'm not really surprised that someone is really wanting to connect deeply with someone. Safe place. And I said it <laughs> in the previous card because I was seeing someone traveling with a home on top of this balloon, as you can see. And I think this is some transition with houses. It can also be that you two are going to get a house together or plan to do so and maybe this will happen in October for some of you but I'm really sensing you two wanting to share the same universe the same story because you can see the little girls actually reading together this book and being protected 
And I think protection and security and trust in this relationship is going to be super important. So that may be something you need to do or this person will need to do for you to feel secure and for you to feel good around their company. So safe place, create a safe environment with that person um, and also allow them to feel secure emotionally so they can express their true self when they are around you. I think this is something that is going to create a very strong connection within um, I mean, with you two, and that may be needed actually in your relationship, in this couple. And because I'm seeing a castle on the background, this can also represent some protective energy, defensive energy, because this is a place you go to be protected when there is some attacks. So it can be that when you feel down, this is also the, the person you think of the very first time, like when you have some issues or some... Um, event happening, when you have some uh, some war in the family, for example, or just some arguments with someone, then that's someone that is going to make you feel a lot more peaceful and relaxed. That's what I'm getting here. And it can be just you actually looking at a picture and just feeling a lot more relaxed because you can feel the energy of the person. This person is just making you feel good. For some reason I just heard music, so maybe this person is an artist and when you listen to the music of the person, or maybe someone you admire, this is really making you feel a lot more in tune and safe within, and safe with your emotions as well. So now I'm going to share cards that are a little more symbolic so we can get more information. Maybe that will be things you may see or things you may need to do. I'm going to talk about this. So the first one, I'm seeing this as juice. And this can describe some juicy news. Maybe this is Japan. Maybe you two plan to go to Japan. Maybe that will be the place you two are going to meet. Maybe Asia, that's what I'm getting because I'm seeing the travel. And honestly, afterward, I have the suitcase appearing. So really, I think this is some direction maybe for some of you, or it can be a symbolic that you need some juice. You need, you know, a juicy relationship, something you uh, will find nourishing this is exactly the energy we're getting with the queen. This is someone who is wanting something that is nourishing, something that is going to give you energy, that is going to give them the boost to travel, to, trans to transition, to heal even, to be strong. That's what I'm getting here. Maybe you also need to drink something that is healthy. I'm seeing the strawberries here. So maybe it's about doing juices. Maybe this is about... Um, I don't know why this is coming to me, but maybe doing some water fasting or juice fasting that may be needed in order for you to be a lot more in tune with your emotions because everything you carry and everything that is stuck in your digestive system, then this is really affecting your mood and this is what you have to understand because you also feed, you know, all this population within your body because you're not alone, trust me. And so in order for you to be a little more stable emotionally because I'm seeing someone that is a bit moony, as I said, then maybe you need to really take care about yourself and eat healthy and maybe do some, you know, water fasting, juice fasting, dry fasting even, in order for you to feel better. So after we have the luggage, so again, very connected to travel, maybe someone is being ready or getting ready. And this can be very symbolic as well. Maybe as a person, you are being ready to travel to someone that is going to be perfect for you. Really, so I'm seeing some luggage and it can be emotional luggage you carry with you. And that is something you need to release because you're not supposed to carry all the traumas, all this emotional pain within yourself in other relationships. You're meant to start fresh, to start new, to actually welcome this new person, welcome this new energy and also be happy. In this person's presence and just to welcome what is and not to interpret things because we carry a lot of wounds so we try to see things but sometimes it's with a filter of pain and that is not supposed to be this way so that can be this symbolic or it can just be that you are being ready to actually be uh, around the person again this is confirming to me that a lot of people are wanting to be in a relationship with someone that's maybe from the distance. It can be a different country, it can be a different city or just a place, but I'm seeing some travel and some separation with the distance for a lot of you here. So maybe that is something that you need to be aware of if you don't know who the person is, then this can be starting from the distance in the very beginning. So you will need to actually travel in the 3D to meet the person, get closer to the person. 
but it can also be that you are going to meet this person when you are going to travel and it can be traveling with friends or alone or with family but it can be this introduction or you can also be seeing some luggage or vintage furniture that's what I'm getting here or maybe Japan or Asia appearing here and there and if this is the case this can be synchronicities for you to actually be guided because I'm seeing you being guided by your guides or your eyes self, the universe in order for you to get closer to the person definitely and this is calling you I mean you can't see it this light is just telling you like hey I'm here <laughs> you know guiding you in the dark I'm also seeing the moon again and we have the moon card so this is definitely a lot of emotions for this group a lot of and I think this is going to be very important for you to be emotionally in tune, for you to be open with your emotions, for you to show your true self, your true light, to guide that person. It can also be that you are going to be someone's peeler. And it's very funny because the light house, and I said this person is going to feel like home and a lot of clarity here. So this is someone that, yes, will guide you. This person may even call you or their soul is calling you. So maybe you're seeing them in your dreams because the moon is here. So maybe nine time is going to be the moment you two connect. And I'm also seeing some mirrored energy here. You can see the mirror on the scene. So that may be someone that is going to mirror yourself. But it can also be you traveling to this person in other realms especially at night, so you can be astral projecting towards this person and a lot of people think they are not capable of doing this but often, and to not say every night, we astral project and this is why your dreams sometimes are very, very vivid, you feel like you've been there, it's because you have been there in other realms. So try to really pay attention to your dreams, to understand the symbolic uh, understand why you was meeting this person in your astral body, maybe your soul is calling for that person. For some of you, you may be dreaming about a person repeatedly and you don't know who this person is, then this may be this person's soul actually meeting you in this astral body because they want some closure, they want to be with you, they want to awaken with you. And this can be a soulmate, it can be a twin flame, I'm seeing this mirrored energy here. Not really surprised because I'm seeing this group as someone that is very old, an old soul, someone that is you know, that has been here so many times and they know the game, they know how it is and they know how to connect with their soul family. So that may be something that is repeating itself over and over again. And now you're being guided towards these people or this person, this lover, that is going to, like I said, feel like home. I'm also seeing the clouds appearing. So that may be someone that is a bit of a dreamer or you may be someone that is very dreamy um, or a dreamy person. So that may be the person of your dream that you actually picture, like the way they will treat you, the way they will talk to you, the way they will cuddle you, kiss you, uh, bring you to the best places or want to travel to the same places. It's like you two are perfect for a child, the perfect match, that's what I'm getting. But it can also be that daydreaming is going to help you to manifest this person. So maybe daydreaming about being with someone, you don't have to put a face on this person if you, if you don't know who the person is, but yeah, just daydream about how this relationship needs to evolve if, if you are with someone already. Um, or just dream about the person or the way they will treat you, respect you, the way they will talk to you, the way they will listen to you. Anything that is important for you in a relationship because I think this is what is going to create or manifest this person. And on this card, this is also what I'm seeing here. Some openness. It's for me a path here and a lot of clarity, light. And this is very connected to this card as well. I'm seeing links on the card, crystal. So that may be some healing company, healing energy, healing couple. And this is what I was talking about as well with the moon. Maybe this person is going to help you to see beyond this darkness because you can see a lot of darkness, but still, the clarity is being brought to you. The crystals are shining a lot of sparkly light. So this is for me, someone that is going to accompany yourself in this transition, in this healing, in this openness to the world, to yourself, to your true self as a soul, as a spirit. Um, and crystal clear. 
this I think this will be crystal clear when you are going to meet the person. You will know definitely there is a connection. You cannot deny it. There is something strong between you and the person. And if you are with this person already, then you feel this way. You feel like they're really healing. Their company is healing. Uh, their, their words, the energy. It's just, you just want to be around them forever. And that's what I'm getting here. I think these are very strong connections. And this is spiritual connections for me. I cannot deny it. Um, and if this is not a soulmate or a twin flame, it can just be a connection with other old souls. So your soul is kind of being magnetized in, in their direction. Or you are being someone that is very magnetic, so other old souls are wanting to be around you. So that may be this manifestation. But beware, there is an opportunity here coming for you, this open path, this clarity. So this is the best person for yourself. This is something you was wishing for, but not really seeing happening if you are still single. And now you're going to recognize, wow, that's manifesting, that's coming. I'm, I'm really seeing this opportunity, seeing this person entering my life. And I feel guided to be around this person. I want to travel to be around this person because I feel safe around this person. That's how you're going to feel. And if you are in this relationship, then this means you need to maybe bring something new, a new opportunity, some healing energy. Maybe reconnect with this person on a deeper level because I'm seeing links. And afterward, the bottle. And I'm seeing the ribbon here. So this can also describe some connection of the soul with you and the person. And again, I'm seeing this protective energy. You know, the hands all around the bottle trying to protect it. And a lot, a lot of sparkle of energy. This can be the stars again represented on this card. So I think you two are being guided. And I think you two meet each other in dream, dreamland. <laughs> uh, in dream time. Because I'm seeing that connection happening, especially at night. You can see the colors are the same on the cards. So this is a blue energy, communication. Maybe you communicate with this person in dream state, um, heal this person in dream state, or maybe you are bringing this clarity, this connection in other realms before actually welcoming this connection in this reality. But I think your protective energy, your nourishing energy, or maybe this person being this way is going to allow this connection to be a lot more stronger. Again, I'm seeing some constellation appearing with the water. As I said, this can be water fasting or some type of juice. It can be a bottle that is describing some wish fulfillment. So maybe you need to use this technique of manifestation to actually write down something on a note of paper. Uh, write down something you want to manifest and then you put it under your cup or a bottle of water and then you drink it the next morning when you wake up. So that will energize yourself and manifest it within you and when you drink it try to repeat the note so for example if you want to manifest your twin flame you can write my twin flame enters my life i choose to be with him or her now and then you put it you sleep on it and then you drink it in the morning and that will help to manifest this in your reality because you become the water and the water is taking all the energy so everything you say to to the water is actually manifesting as energy, creating this energy in the water. So when you drink it, you become it. So be careful as well with the words you use when you are drinking or just, you know, before drinking, I think this is best for you to just say, I love you to the water and drink it because the energy is going to change in the water and this is what is going to feel you. You can say, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm abundant. My, my twin flame enters my life, for example, and drink the water. So that will recharge and transform the energy of the water. Just saying, because I think that may be something you need to do. So now we're going to talk about the places you two may meet or what type of places or atmosphere this person may have. So I'm going to start with the bottles that are going to show places. The first one I'm saying, I think I'm going to talk about both of them because they're very complementary. I am seeing someone coming from a city and the other one may come more on this natural area, you know, this countryside. This is someone who is very connected to nature and the other one is more on the snows. But still, I'm seeing you two actually enjoying both. Or maybe, 
I don't know. But I really sense that some of you may need to travel to another place. So leave this place that you feel secure in, maybe from you know, this natural area especially, because that's the biggest transition, to go in this place where it's noisy with a lot of people, a lot of traffic. That's something I experienced. I mean, I'm coming from this place and I was traveling to my ex-husband and he was from Hele. So, I mean, you can imagine. <laughs> uh, so that was a big transition. But yeah, that's what I'm getting again. Someone that may need to encounter the other world of the other person, let's say, or the other atmosphere. Or it can be you two coming from the same city and wanting to travel to something that is a, lo a little more calm, so you two can connect on a deep level and reconnect with your true self. Because when it's not noisy, when it's not, you know, with a lot of people around, then it's just you and the other person and nature. What a beautiful scenery in my head. But yes, that's what I'm getting here. Some travel to different type of atmosphere for some people, or maybe you two coming from the same nosy place and now wanting some time to relax, to be in connection with nature. So maybe that's the place to travel, or maybe you are coming from this place and you are a bit tired and now you want to be around people. I mean, we are in Libra season, so we want to mingle, we want to be with people. <laughs> so maybe that's what is calling you now. After I'm seeing this clothing, clothing shop, shopping shop, this is written, okay? Uh, so wear your favorite clothes and be your sweetest self. Sweetest self. Beautiful. So maybe fashion is going to be important. Maybe they want you to look good. I'm seeing a dress here. I'm seeing openness with the door being open. So this is someone who is going to be very welcoming. I'm seeing someone that is wise. Clarity. I was also seeing... Um, as you could see, the light. So that may be someone that is very enlightened. Someone you can talk for, other, for hours and never really feel like you're bored because they have so much to share. They're so excited about life or just maybe excited about spirituality because I'm seeing this light as wisdom or someone that is very intuitive. Yeah, that's the type of energy here. But also wearing good clothes or just looking good is going to be something you to enjoy or maybe one of you really wants. I'm seeing, I mean, the suits here appearing, the vest and the dress. So maybe you are going to go on a date and need to wear clothes that makes you feel glam. <laughs> That's what I get here. Or maybe one of you is working on a clothing shop or maybe doing something that is related to fashion. You can be a model as well. Uh, so looking good is actually something that is going to be very attractive. Or maybe going shopping together is something you will enjoy. Afterward, beam, flower lovers. So that may be some type of coffee place, something very relaxing. Um, I'm seeing the flowers, so this is a symbol of you blooming, growing with each other. So maybe this month is really going to inspire you to grow together, to get closer together. Again, I'm seeing a lot of lamps, the door is open. Definitely, I think someone is really wanting to be with you and this one is being welcoming, presenting you a seat and this is written, sit down and have a rest. So this is someone who wants you to feel good, to be, um, yeah, and I was seeing the safe place on this card. So that's someone who wants you to feel at ease in their company. They want you to feel relaxed. They want you to take, to take a rest with them. They want you to grow and they want you to know that they're always here for you because I'm seeing this window open. So whenever you need, come and take a rest with me. That's what I'm getting. This type of person, this type of energy. But you can also just go on cafe, uh, on places where you can just rest with a person and have a date. So this is a shop and it's very beautiful because I'm seeing fresh, healthy, cheap, clean, uh, healthy, cheap, okay. <laughs> so someone that is fresh, someone that is healthy. And I think this is why I was channeling that, you know, you need to be healthy, taking care of your body because maybe that is what they do. Maybe they go and go to the gym, exercise or do some type of sport. They really take care of their appearance with the clothes, but also with how they feel inside. They nourish themselves with healthy food, go shopping. Maybe you two are going to meet in that type of 
place and really connect, you know, maybe with the food you are going to buy or just talk about diets or maybe it can also be related to healthy environment. Um, so creating a healthy environment when you two are with each other, fresh being fresh. So this means, you know, having fun together, just being your true self, being excited in their presence. And I just saw eight, eight, I mean, zero eight. 0.08. So I think this is related to some type of reflection. It can be that you two are going to think with each other. So this reflection, or this can talk about meditation as well. Yeah, I think this, oh, this can also be you meeting this person in a yoga place or some type of meditation, or maybe meditation is going to help you to connect with this person as well. But health is going to be important especially for one of you. And it can be someone that is a bit of a health freak. So they may take care of their body, exercise, they may do some yoga, meditate at night, uh, they may eat healthy, maybe being vegan because I'm saying fruits here. I feel like I'm talking about myself. <laughs> but it can be someone that is like that. Someone that is really wanting to feel the best so they nourish their body with what is needed. They fuel it with respect because they understand that the body is not themselves. This is a vehicle that was given to them. So they're going to honor it and respect it the best way. So now I'm going to share cards that are going to show what type of couple you two are going to be. Pretty exciting. Okay, so the first ones, a cuddly couple on the couch reading a book. So maybe reading is going to allow you to, to get closer. Maybe you're going to read a story to the person and the other one is going to fall asleep. Or maybe telling stories is going to be super important because you know what? I was seeing this on the other card as well. So it can be someone that is a writer and it doesn't have to be a book, but it can be writing music. It can be of writing poetry or just writing things on their blog. This will be someone who is very creative with the way they write or express themselves. And the other one is really going to be transported with their stories, with their words. And I said it before as well, maybe listening to their music is going to calm yourself, is going to make you feel relaxed. And that is what I'm saying. Their presence, but also what they share to you is going to make you feel a lot more relaxed. Or maybe you are the one that is actually doing that or you will need to if you are in this couple already then that's something you need to add in that relationship and I think you two are really going to feel a lot more connected and close and a lot more peaceful it's like you create this environment that feels good after so brushing your teeth with that person so simple things are going to make you feel a lot more close to the person and makes this relationship even more exciting in a way it's like Little things that you can do in the same house, for example, it makes you feel like, okay, that's for real. Because sometimes when you actually go on dates, you know, the very first time or just a few times, it feels like you two are together but still not living together. So I'm seeing that. Maybe this is why I was seeing houses appearing. Maybe you are meant to meet, I mean, meet the person in their house or so spend some time as a couple, like if you was, you know, already living together, or maybe if you are with someone, then the next step is for you to leave with each other. And if you are still a student, don't rush it, take your time, but maybe you need to spend more time together as if you was already living together. Maybe that is something you need to envision as well. If you want to, you know, be with someone you can marry, marry or someone you just want to spend your entire life with, because I think this is like, what you are manifesting, to be honest, like one in a lifetime, the soulmate, the twin flame, this connection that is so divine and strong that it's pretty much the last person you're going to be with. For a lot of you, I'm not saying for everyone, but that's what I'm channeling here. Someone you want to live with and create a future with, something very strong. And I'm seeing this couple waiting for the bus. So this is waiting for things to be transported or you two to be transported in the same place so you can travel to each other or travel with each other. I'm also seeing directions. So this can be synchronicities. Um, I'm also seeing the lamp here. So this again is related to some clarity. It can be some insights. 
noisy again. I mean, I'm living next to a road, so that's not easy. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also seeing the mountain. So this is asking you to be strong. And we have the strength card. So stay strong, be courageous, be grounded. This is why maybe I was seeing the number eight appearing. So this is meditation, reflection. Maybe you two need to do that in order for you to be a little more grounded in that relationship. But I'm seeing this happy couple just having fun, you know, being loving holding each other's hand, maybe going on a picnic, I don't know, doing something like this. But I'm seeing some travel and transportation that may happen or that is needed. So maybe traveling together or discovering new places around your place, your city or wherever you live is going to allow you to, to be a lot more closer. Here I'm saying, again, I was talking about someone that is nourishing. And again, this is the type of energy I'm getting here. Someone who is going to take care about things, like taking care of a plant, allowing it to grow, you know, allowing them to get enough sun, enough water for them to grow beautifully. So this is what you're going to do for your partner as well. So the, the way you take care about things is going to reflect the way you're going to take care about yourself, but also how you're going to take care about that person. So try to be mindful about this. If you are not seeing this person coming, it can be that you still need to work on yourself in order for you to be nourishing enough for this person to stay with you. And I'm seeing someone cuddling you here. So there is someone that is very, very close to you and that will feel very close to you and wants to grow with you and share little moments, simple moments, especially with yourself and creating pottery together. I'm not sure if, if you say pottery, <laughs> I'm not. I don't know, but you get the point. I'm seeing you practicing together, creating something with a clay. So it's maybe a symbol, like creating something together, enjoying the moment, enjoying every creations that you will make. Um, anything you may experience together is something you will celebrate. It's like you are making this pottery and then taking it at home and that will be a reminder that you two spend an amazing time together. So that may be this type of couple here. Um, all the memories, all the things you are going to create together, that's something you really want to celebrate and you will find precious. So maybe little pictures you will take, traveling to together, maybe buying some souvenirs, anything like that. But I'm seeing a couple that is very connected. Maybe sitting on a lap is something you dream to do. Just, you know, them touching your hand, getting closer. That's what I'm getting here because I'm seeing cuddles, just sitting and sitting on the lap. Like something like this. Very simple attention, so subtle things in order for you to introduce this relationship. Now, if you are in this relationship, that maybe activities or just little things like that are going to be enjoyable for you. And here I'm seeing a couple, just, I'm seeing that at Netflix and chill. So that may be the type of thing you may enjoy. Maybe staying at home is enough for you. Uh, just spending time watching a movie, maybe a series together. Um, I'm seeing pets, maybe you two have pets, cat especially. Uh, the fish is unfortunately dead. <laughs> well, this can be a plush, let's just say it's a plush because poor thing. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm seeing popcorn. Maybe that's something you will enjoy. Just relaxing at home, spending some time together. I think this is something you dream to do. If you are not living with a person, that's really something you may think of before going to sleep. You have this little imaginary going on and you should continue because your daydreams are going to manifest in your reality. This is what I was saying with this, this card with the lighthouse. Definitely. Okay, that is pretty much it for this group. Now you can move on to the messages of the letter. It was a long reading. I'm just noticing it's been almost one hour. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to go fast for the messages so you guys won't stay too much. But I really wanted to go in depth and I hope you will like the reading. Let's move on to the second group. And the second one. So the first card is the magician. Wonderful. I'm seeing someone using their magic, 
using some skills, manifesting things here. And this is really great because when you concentrate on your skills and use them, this is what is going to create this manifestation. You can see a lot of energy manifesting and you're going to reach your goal because you can see this ball forming. So maybe this is just energy now, but this is what is going to form in, or take form in this reality all around you. So continue if you're doing some journaling, um, manifestation, doing some mirror manifestation, mirror work, even anything like that is really going to empower this manifestation or make it become real even more faster. Really, I think you're manifesting someone and that is someone that is going to really tune in that energy. So the way you picture this relationship to be or this, this person to be is what is going to manifest. And this is in your hand. So that may be some action that needs to happen. Or it can be symbolic. You maybe need to be the one that is confessing to the person or making the first move or taking actions beyond 3D. So as I said, using manifestations or techniques or skills. Something like this, to be honest. For some reason, I just... I just saw this bottle as some love potion so maybe that's what you need to do you know you can see this cauldron a lot of bubbles going here using not poison don't but use good energy to manifest this love so the love potion can manifest that's something you need to do maybe you're doing some spells as well maybe that's something you you need to do but if you don't do spells you can do some affirmations um, maybe do some journaling even. Any type of technique that you like and that is working for you to manifest this person. Do it because that is going to create this magic. This is also talking about creativity, turning dreams into reality. So do not be afraid to daydream or to think big about this relationship or this person because this is what is going to become true. For some people, I just heard, some people may be doubtful that you can manifest a certain person. They may project these insecurities and fears and tell you that is not possible. You just dream too big. What I'm getting here is that whoever you feel this attraction to, especially if you feel like there is some reciprocity and, and something that is growing even beyond 3D. So you're not really seeing this in the 3D, but you feel the energy going, going crazy around you. You may see a lot of synchronicities. If this is happening and showing you as a sign, then you are directing your love and attention to the right person. Now, if you are in a relationship, this can mean that you need to put more energy, attention, um, maybe holding their hands a little bit or just getting closer to them as something that is very energizing. So this relationship can grow beautifully because a lot of light, a lot of energy, something that is vibrating higher. So this is some expansion. The chariot card. So cancer sign is appearing here, uh, or this can be water sign, but I'm seeing this as transportation, something that is going to manifest. This is talking about control, victory, some triumph, determination as well. That is someone, or you may be someone, that is very determined to make it work, that is wanting to take actions, that is wanting to be close to the person, maybe travel to the person or travel towards this person and it can be symbolic. So taking actions towards this person is going to allow you to, to be in the same place mentally, physically or emotionally. Something that is going to really create a bond with you and the person. This can also come with, I mean, during summer season, so the cancer season, especially traveling to the person. Or this can be maybe someone with a water sign or as cancer in their chart. Maybe you have this sign in your chart. Mm, but this, when I'm seeing the chariot card, is always about actions, taking actions, being transported or taking some transport to meet the person. So that may be needed. And I'm also seeing the water being in motion. So that is change manifesting, things changing, being molded in a certain way for you to be transported in directions. If you are sensing things ending or changing, that is in order for you to get closer to the person. It can be that you are feeling a bit, uh, you know, disconnected to your partner if you are with someone 
or you feel like your friends are not really supporting anymore, so you feel like you need to have new friends, then that can be transitions in relationships for you to be or to become your best self. Because the new people you're going to welcome in your life are going to be a lot more in tune with who you are because I'm seeing a lot of energy. So energy may be super important for you to be directed towards someone you are meant to be with. And cancer energy is very romantic, someone that is very nurturing, the mom pretty much. This is again very close to the energy I was channeling for the first group. So maybe if you feel cool to the, the both, I mean both piles, that may be why. Because it's someone that is very nurturing, that is wanting to communicate, that is wanting some connections. I'm seeing the links here. Maybe to travel to new people or meet new people. They feel the urge to do so. And this is not really su surprising because we are in Libra season. So it's all about, you know, being around people, mingling, having fun, having new friends or just having adventures. And that's what I'm getting here. And if you feel the urge to do so, Go for it, don't overthink it, have fun. The Nine of Stones. So this is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, ooh, financial gain, honesty, work, good attitude. This is everything that is coming your way, my friend, and that's something we need to celebrate. So that's someone who has enough in their cup, and that's what you, you can see also, with all the crystals shining bright, and with the stars being here, on the chair of the card, but also on the nine of, of stones, then that's telling me this is someone you're being guided to because they have enough to offer in a relationship, but also, not gonna lie, I'm seeing someone who is successful, someone who is shining, someone who is precious, and people, mm -mm, a lot of people are saying that they are this way. So maybe there's some type of competition going on. Maybe you feel like you cannot reach this person because they're shining so bright and who am I to actually dream to be with that person? But do not give up because the magic is going to happen. And if you fuel this energy with positivity, with trust, then the universe is going to transport you towards this precious person, this treasure. <laughs> and that is someone you want to treasure. The number nine is perfection as well, leading you towards this perfect partner, this perfect person, someone you was dreaming about. I'm also seeing this ripple effect on the water. So that may be some action actually rippling and having an effect on that person or on things manifesting. And you can see a lot of vibrancy, kind of this ripple effect also appearing you know, with all the energy around. So really pay attention to how your energy is received. See if, the, if this is positive and kind of nourishing this person's energy because I'm seeing this nourishing energy from the cancer. So that's something maybe you need to do in order for this relationship to grow and to, as, as I said, have another effect on the person, to ripple in their reality. And this can be your prayers being transferred to the person and having this ripple effect, kind of being absorbed by this person, consciously or subconsciously, it doesn't matter, but this is what I'm getting here. Some receptivity, reception and transfer of energy, but this person, oh my goodness, it's perfect. <laughs> and I'm not saying this because this is about luxury and, you know, some possession. I think it's because they possess enough within themselves so they have enough to offer emotionally, uh, with, you know, the way they will treat yourself. They may be very respectful, very down to earth because I'm seeing stones. So this is earth energy. And this is why they can collect a lot of things from the earth because they're so down to earth and connected and grounded. So I'm going to read these two cards together because they are very connected. So first of all, we have letting go and the universe. What is the universe telling you here? I think you know. I think you need to let go of that person. If, I mean, I'm telling you that, but I'm going to explain. Sometimes when we manifest, I mean, all the time we have to manifest, we have to, you know, put faith, energy, be there, feel it you know, visualize it in your mind, you know, close your eyes, be in the moment with that person and then we have to let go. Why? Because when we let go, it's because we trust the universe enough for it to work 
on what we was asking for. So if, for example, um, you're journaling, for example, and then, you know, you journal every night because you want things to manifest, but then you tell yourself, I'm journaling every day, but I'm not really seeing things manifesting. You are not trusting the universe. And why? Because you do not let go. Honestly, I, I think journaling every day, it may not be too positive. For me, it wasn't positive. Uh, I was journaling for a little period and then I gave up. And then I came back to my manifestation journal. <laughs> a few days ago, I was also sharing this on my Instagram and I was shocked because everything I was writing down on this journal, the moment I was just putting this, you know, in my... Um, I don't even know how to call this, in my drawer, I think that's how you call it, uh, in my drawer. So when I was putting this here and forgetting about this, this is when the universe was working on this and now I manifested pretty much everything I was writing down, okay? And what what was it? Uh, a year ago, I wasn't doing tarot and on this one I was writing, you know, I'm going to be a master at reading tarot, I'm going to grow my channel, I'm going to grow online, I'm going to make enough money. And trust me, a year ago, I was making pretty much nothing with what I was doing. And now I can, I can technically say I'm a YouTuber because I have enough money thanks to YouTube. I mean, I can gain enough money thanks to that. So I manifested exactly what I was writing down. Also with a celebrity, I was writing that I am meeting some celebrities that are very kind and gentle and I met someone and even that person texted me on Instagram, which is pretty crazy to me. But just telling you, I think journaling, it's best if you journal for, I don't know, a little time and then you forget about this. So you can trust the universe. So letting go is super important. If you have been manifesting like crazy, but still holding some expectations, it's not gonna happen. Letting go is the key. You need to let go in order for this to manifest. Trust the universe because you are being directed. You can see this path, you can see this castle, this darkness behind you, the moon. The moon is maybe related to dreams. Maybe daydreaming is going to allow you to create a path and opportunity for you to get closer to people. Uh, and let it go. letting go, you can see this book. So this is a new chapter being presented to you, this transformation with the butterfly letting go. This is the autumn season. So we are here now being asked to let go and we are in winters, uh, winter, autumn season. So we need to embrace the change just like nature would do. You know, a tree wouldn't be like, no, I'm manifesting summer. So I'm not going to, you know, hold on to my leaves. <laughs> no, this one is going to allow the seasons to transform the tree. So letting go of the leaves, going through winter to prepare for spring and then summer. is not going to be asking for summer to be right now happening. No, it's going to embrace this transformation, the changes, because it's, I think, a part of destiny as well for you. You are meant to actually welcome this new energy and to be there and enjoy, you know, the path that is yours, that is directing towards someone that is right for you. So if you have been a bit impatient, especially if you have been waiting for this person, then that can be that you need to let go before welcoming what you are asking for. Okay, so if this is not coming in autumn, I'm seeing the autumn season actually being the season where you are being asked to let go, to trust the universe, because it's working on this. And this is going to come when you two are going to be ready to be in this relationship. Now, if you are with someone, what I'm channeling here for you guys, it's that you need to let go of something and it can be too much attachment. It can be too much attachment to um, maybe things they say. So you may expect things. Just try to understand people do their best all the time and you have to let go or not pressure someone, but accompany them through the chapter of life, through the past. Now, if you wanted to manifest something together, it can be that you two need to let go and relax and trust the universe for things to manifest the best way for you too. So now I'm going to share cards that are a little more symbolic for you guys. 
So the first one, I am seeing this as protection. Again, I'm seeing someone that is shining. I'm not sure who this is, if this is you, or you are being asked to shine because I'm seeing the star here. So it can be that you need to be in alignment with your purpose for you to shine and to be successful and to live this luxurious life or just to see more value and, and something precious coming your way. So you can manifest exactly what you want. That's what I'm getting. But also this person is living the best life or is about to live the best life when you two are going to be with each other. So maybe they'll feel more inspired to do things, um, more in tune. But I'm seeing some protection that is needed. And it can be protection and allowing yourself to shine so bright that you will kind of scare negative people to come your way or low energy to come because now you're shining so bright and you have this protective field and your aura is kind of pushing people away that are not really on your vibrancy. I mean, you're the magician, so of course. Um, they are really pushing away anyone that is not like you or who doesn't have enough to offer in that relationship. So you're really going to recognize this and tell yourself, no, thank you. But, you know, I'm manifesting something and I'm waiting for this chapter to come. I have faith in the universe. So it's okay. I can, I can go my way. I'm also seeing someone that is riding and maybe that's the transportation. Maybe you are, you know, doing some race or... It can be some sport, maybe the, the other person is doing that. Or it can just be things going at high speed, manifesting quickly. And this is why you need to protect yourself, to not welcome whoever is coming, because this may not be the one. Just try to analyze the person, see if they have enough value before welcoming them, because this person has enough to offer. So don't take anyone that is lower than your expectations. I'm seeing the coffee machine appearing. So that's something that is going to energize yourself or maybe someone that is going to be very energized by things. I mean, the magician. So maybe you two share the same energy. Maybe you two are manifesting each other at the same time. And this is why this is creating this opportunity. But first, you have to let go and trust the universe for things to manifest into perfection for you to be transported towards this person's energy. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Maybe this is a coffee I'm feeling. I don't know. Maybe that's someone who is enjoying coffee or tea because you have coffee in, in it. Um, something that is just giving them boost. Or maybe their energy is like this. They don't really need anything. You know, this is like someone is going on a fast and then they have all this energy. Like they feel super powerful. I think that's this type of person. They don't really need some conceptions. Though it's just... They're like this. They're shining, they're energized about things, they're passionate. That's the word, they're very passionate. And this is why I think they are very successful because they do something that is their passion and that is serving a purpose for other people. So that may be some path for you as well, for you to take in order for you to be a lot more close to the person. Maybe this is your purpose as well. So maybe this is why I'm seeing the star. I think you're meant to shine in the path that is yours for you to encounter on this one because you can see a lot of company at the end of the path and this is when you are going to let go and look the clarity is appearing again light energy someone that is going to energize yourself that is going to fill your bottle fill yourself this is for me someone was enough to give that's for sure. It can be a bit of a dreamer. I'm seeing the city appearing. So maybe that's the place you to live in the city. Um, maybe going at night outside is going to allow you to, to encounter. So yeah, maybe going in places at night or just feeling a lot more connected when night time is coming, when it's calmer because the city is, you know, a lot more calm. So it's more peaceful to come out. So I'm seeing this peaceful atmosphere. I'm also seeing the stars appearing here. So that may be some guidance. You could see also the stars appearing and the clarity being transferred to you. So even though you are in separation, if you are in separation, I'm seeing this energy being transferred to you and nourishing yourself. Again, I'm seeing you collecting things on this card. Collecting 
I think these are flowers or just again sparkles. Nature around, symbol of growth, protection. I'm seeing kind of the circle of light protecting you, guiding you. Again, this bottle is next to you. So this is a reminder for me. Maybe the bottle is about energy. This can be energy transfer. This can be giving back. Maybe you are the one that is nourishing actually the energy, not taking it. So that may be some reciprocity that is needed sharing your energy sharing time and especially good vibes with the person something that is going to you know energize yourself that is going to make you feel good it's like when you are around this person you feel so much energy but then when you go back to your place you're like wow that was that was a bit draining but it was so good or maybe that's the opposite. When you're going back home, you feel so energized. You can do everything you wanted to do as goals or just as a routine. That's the type of energy I'm getting here. Um, for introverts, I think that will be a bit draining though. But for extroverts, they will be very nourished by this energy. Okay, so that's the type, the type of energy I'm getting here from the person you're going to welcome. Um, but I'm seeing some collective, I mean, collection. You're collecting things. Let's say, yeah, collecting things. And this is something that is sparkly, that is, again, related to energy. I was talking about protection, so that maybe someone is going to protect you. And wanting you to feel good. Again, the bottle is appearing here, and you delivering the energy, leaving your imprint. Maybe this is also some divine guidance. It's like you're walking on the imprint of the person, or maybe this person is going to walk behind you. So I'm not sure who is watching who, if this is happening, but I really sense this distance, but still it's very close. Like someone is really following the other person's steps. That's what I'm getting. The water is calm here, so peaceful energy, nighttime appearing again. So moon, the moon is actually related to clarity, healing energy, intuitive energy maybe someone who is very intuitive maybe into spirituality a little more or divination i'm seeing the magicians or someone that is very skilled um maybe water sign or maybe someone is living next to the beach i'm also seeing the city forest so that may be areas um, maybe you two are going to travel to or want to travel together to and or maybe just living in these areas but a very giving type of energy and imprints may be something important. So maybe this is about the universe giving you hints, so leaving imprints here and there for you to step further and understand the direction you're taking in that relationship. Um, if you are with someone, the big message here is all about transferring energy, collecting energy, traveling together to feel recharged in this person's presence, to maybe follow the step of the other person. So maybe this person will be inspiring you to grow, inspiring you to give to others, for you to be a lot more nourishing or nur no, nurturing, that's the word, nurturing to people, giving back because you are given so much. So now I'm going to share cards that are going to show the type of places you two are going to travel to or meet. Maybe you two are actually living in these type of places. So I'm going to share the bottles first with the places. So the first one, I'm seeing flowers blooming, growing, so that maybe is symbolic more. Or maybe someone is living more, you know, in forest areas or natural areas. That's what I'm getting with the beach and the forest um, yeah, maybe someone is living not too far from the country here. So maybe that's places where you two are going to meet. Maybe someone is working on um, a flower shop or close to flowers, or maybe they love flowers. It can be that way. Maybe they're very romantic, or maybe they are going to buy you flowers because they may love to collect them and, you know, place them in this basket and offer you this one, a basket or just a bouquet. But that's what I'm getting here. Someone who is very creative, and I was talking about this with the magician. So maybe creating things that are going to be very lovely and romantic, not gonna lie. So that may also be a symbol that you two are going to grow together and bloom together. Or maybe that's the next step in your relationship if you are with someone. Blooming, growing together, and I just saw 444. 
divine message here so you are being guided to do so you're being supported by your guides and this can also be a symbol that if you was giving up on this divine connection or on this connection with someone it could be that your guides are telling you please trust it we're working on this do not give up after i'm seeing more on um, yeah kind of vegas vegas los angeles california type of yeah, I mean, desert area. It can also be some type of warmth. You know, the cactus are still growing even though there is not so much of water. So it can be someone that is growing in areas that are a bit challenging. They're really going to expand and grow and show how strong they are. You know, someone that is like this. Or it can be the place... Um, as I said, California in the United States. I mean, this is what I'm getting here, but it can also be in different areas, um, like in South Africa or some type of desert area can be that way. Maybe that's also a place you to want to go to. So California, Los Angeles, mm, Las Vegas, that's what I'm getting, especially, but a lot of other places, of course. So the next card I'm going to show are going to talk about the places you two can meet or it can also be talking about the atmosphere or the vibe or energy this person is going to diffuse if they were a place. So the first one I'm kidding is a bakery. I'm smiling because the other card is also a bakery. What? Uh, French vibe here. Friends, definitely. Or maybe you two enjoy cakes and bread and things like that. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can see cakes appearing, bakery, bread. So do you like bread or cake? And this can be a friend telling you that. Do you like, you know, the food we have in France? No, <laughs> just kidding. I do, but I can't eat it. I mean, I'm vegan, so it's difficult to actually enjoy the French cuisine. And also I'm really intolerant to gluten. But it's pretty good. When I was not intolerant, I was just feeding myself with that. So it was just making me smile because I'm really sensing this French vibe going on. And I mean, when you are French, you really love people to enjoy your cuisine. I mean, your yeah, cuisine or just whatever you cook in France. Um, so I'm seeing again the baguettes, croissant, uh, what else? Cakes here, bakery. It's, it's funny. Maybe you are attracted by someone that is French. It doesn't have to be you have to travel to the place, but it can just be that their, what what is the word, nationality or their origin is from France, or maybe the other part of that, or maybe maybe they just enjoy cakes and bread. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting here. It's also a warm energy, mm, something that is kind of. You know when you go in this bakery and it smells so good, like this bread is still hot and cracking and this croissant is just melting in your in your hand. Oh my goodness, I'm dying. But yes, <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. I'm also seeing a lot of opportunities with kind of the menu. It's not really the menu, but the proposition of things that you can actually buy with the prices. So it's someone that is going to show exactly what they can offer. They're not going to lie to you. It's like, we have this in store. Do you want to enter or not? <laughs> that may be the type of person. Like, that's who I am. That's what I can give to you. Will you feel comfortable in my presence or not? Take it or leave it. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm seeing openness with the door, but still this one is a bit closed, I mean closed completely. So it can be some, some of that. It's, it's like, this is open if you want to take what I have to offer, but I'm not going to be open to you if you're not going to be comfortable in my company or completely satisfied with who I am. Because if you try to change me, I'm going to run away from you. That's what I'm getting. Um, after, oh my goodness, chocolate. <laughs> It's all about sweet things, delicious things. So that may be someone who's just, you know, you are in their company and it just feels delicious or they're delicious or you just want to taste it. I think that's it. I think you really want to be, and I'm not going to explore this path, but I think you get what I, what I just 
Oh my goodness, I'm so dirty, I'm so I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm saying chocolate, a single chocolate can melt your heart. Very sweet, someone that is here to, yeah, charm you. As I said, this may be someone who is very romantic. Maybe buying you cakes, buying you good food, something sweet especially. They're really going to pay attention to what you eat, I think. And that may be something that is very sat satisfying, yeah, for you. Or comforting when you eat, you know, a bit of chocolate or when you eat your favorite food. You just feel like the other person is really paying attention to you. That's what I'm getting here. Or maybe that is something you will need to do in order for this person to feel loved. So attention is going to be super important this month. I believe and maybe if you want to get closer to the person if you know the person or want to charm the person then you may need to actually buy something they enjoy to hate I think that's what is going to really allow them to recognize oh this person was paying attention to me like I really feel touched that they care and they noticed that okay so little things may actually charm them or maybe charm you I don't know but yeah and since i'm talking about this i also have a video on how you can charm your crush so if you have a crush maybe you want to actually look at this video later or just right after if you have time because this video is pretty long and i'm so sorry but i really wanted to go in depth for this month so now i'm going to talk about the type of couple you two are going to become or what type of couple you two are so what i'm seeing here <laughs> it's very funny so this one is just sleeping and the other one is taking a picture, you know, I mean, you can picture this pretty, pretty vividly. Uh, someone that is just wanting to make fun, maybe post it online afterward or just to, you know, put this on their, their, their screen as a wallpaper, something like this. Yes, someone that is just wanting to make fun of you in some situation sometimes, but it's it's something that is sweet, not someone that is, you know, um, going to make you feel uncomfortable with these actions. Just to kind of have a good laugh together and just have fun. That's it. Afterward, I'm seeing some confession here. Okay. So I think someone is really going to connect with their lover in, I mean, during this month, if you are single, of course. If you are with someone, it can be some romantic action that is needed as i said subtle things just taking care of the other person making them feel noticed um yeah any type of action like this is going to be very appreciated if you are a libra for example and if your birthday is going to come then yeah you may expect something to happen and i think this is what is going to happen if you are a libra you know someone really putting attention into buying you a gift or taking you in a place you really enjoy, taking you in the best restaurant, something like this. If this is not your birthday, it can be a birthday of the couple, um, something like that, some celebration or just spending some time with you is just a celebration for them. So they want to make it special, they may buy you flowers. I think I was talking about this for this card yeah so someone that is really wanting to you know really put a little attention for you to notice okay they care after i have this cuddly couple together very connecting very loving like yeah very beautiful and i'm seeing roses so symbol of love romance again romantic partners maybe you two are wanting to do things that are a little more romantic together i'm also seeing an this is very cliche, but I have to say it. Um, you know, Jean-Paul Gaultier is actually designing clothes like that. And this is a French designer. So, I don't know. I feel like there's some French French vibe here. Um, it can also be representing this moment of recognition. Maybe you two are coming from different places. And when you two share you know, time with each other, you just jump in their harm, or maybe this is the one that is jumping in your harm, but yeah, I'm seeing this excitement when you two are reconnecting together and spending some time together. So that's very beautiful to notice, and I think this is announcing that maybe this reconnection, this travel to the other person, for you to feel a lot more close and to grow together. I'm also seeing a lot of romance growing during this month. And, I mean, we are in Libra season right now, so ruled by Venus. So, you get the point. 
sexy things, um, wearing good clothes, just looking good, charming the other person. Just add some seductive energy, especially if you are in this relationship. Just add something new, exciting for you to grow more close to each other. Afterward, I'm seeing this as grocery shopping and this can be like going to places maybe this is where you are going to meet the person um also yeah it can be at their place where they work um or it can just be something you enjoy little things doing little activities together and this can be just as simple as going you know buying some food <laughs> again we're talking about food i don't know but i think food is super important for you or just shopping. Shopping, maybe this is when you are going to meet as well. Maybe when you are going to go shopping with, um, I was saying your parents, but that's a bit weird to actually charm someone when you are with your parents, but it can be with your friends or just going alone, you know, just shopping for maybe food or something like that. Maybe this is when you are going to meet this person and fall in love with that one. Here I'm seeing a picnic or just a relaxing time you to spend next to nature. I'm seeing the beach here. And I was talking about Los Angeles. So it can be on the beach side, on the coast. Or it can be somewhere else. It doesn't have to be out there. But I'm really sensing Europe, especially France. And kind of America, I'm not gonna lie. America. The United States, especially. Mm, but the beach is appearing, so that may be one of the place the other one is living in. Or maybe you two are going to travel to places like that. So next to the sea, next to nature. I think we had the forest also and the beach on the other cards. So definitely that vibe here. Um, I'm also seeing some connection in summer. It could be that in summer, if this is going to happen, then that's for future. But if this was happening in this summer season before autumn in france we are in autumn so just before it could be that you was creating connection with that one and this is what is going to and this may be the symbol that maybe someone you was paying attention or getting getting closer to in summer is going to be the one and it could be just texting the person in summer and then you realize wait a second i really enjoy this person i really feel close to the person or it could be that there were some type of closure in summer and now this is manifesting into union during this season so do not be afraid to recontact a person if you has lost touch with that one or yeah just getting closer to the person that could be a message for some of you right after again i'm seeing the beach appearing so maybe the beach is very important maybe this is where you two are wanting to travel to or will travel to during this time um, or where you are going to meet. And it can be when you are going to travel or just exploring around. Mm, I'm seeing a couple that is very fashionable. So yeah, maybe maybe clothes or the way you look is going to be super important or really, really charming for the other person. I'm not gonna lie because during this season with Libra, it's all about looking good, looking charming, looking yeah very attractive so you can have a connection with this person it's all about mingling as i said connecting with others so that is pretty much it for this group now you can move to the timestamp in the comments and select your messages with the letter so the letter one or the letter two let's move on So let's start with the first letter. So the first message here, you make my heart smile and I'm seeing a protection circle. It can also be a circle of friend where you two are going to grow. But trust me, you are actually impacting this person's you know, they really feel attracted about you. And especially your smile, so keep smiling. The second one. 
If I were to fall in love, it would have to be with you. Ooh, beautiful. I have traveled hundreds of millions of light years to your side. It can be a soulmate or some soul connection. That's what I'm getting here. So if you feel like there's some soulmate connection, I'm seeing also the stars here, this constellation appearing. So I think this is announcing that this connection of the soul, maybe you two are coming from the same, the same star. So maybe you two are star seeds. Also, it can be talking about light workers, people traveling also in the astral body and meeting each other. It can be this symbolic. But this one is traveling to you for, I mean, hundreds of millions of light years to your side. And this is why this is obvious that this connection is happening again. My world is full of stars shining through you. Again, maybe star seed, light workers coming from the same star again, and you two really want to shine together and the stars are shining through you. So you have this energy that is beautiful, kind of guiding in the dark as well. So maybe when this person is needing some comfort or some love and care, they come to you. And the last one, which is a letter. The world is changing right before your eyes. Now I found you. There is no more emptiness inside. Wow. That's beautiful. So that is pretty much it for this group. If you like this reading, as always, put a thumbs up. This is always super helpful. Let me know in the comments all the juicy news, everything that was accurate for you. I always love to read your comments. And also, if you want, you can also participate and tell me what type of reading you want next. I really like to know. Okay, take good care of you crystal souls. Join the family if you're new. Ring the bell, by the way, and take good care of you. You're precious. Bye-bye. And now the second letter. So, I'm gonna... Okay. So the first message, and beautiful heart appearing, a heart that loves is always young. Beautiful. Love is in the air. I'm just telling you. It's not. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. And I'm also seeing this as a symbolic love growing more and more. And I'm sensing that you will need to get closer to each other for it to grow. To not be afraid to spend some time or just to express that you want to spend some time with them as well in order for this love to grow. If you love someone, set them free. I think this is very related to what we were channeling on the second group especially. We had the let, uh, letting go card. So you need to let go of things in order for things to manifest in a beautiful way. If you trust the universe, you don't have to have expectations. You just trust it completely. You manifest things. You forget about this. You go with your life and then things manifest. So I'm sit, I'm seeing this as you setting three um, setting yourself free of expectations for things to grow. And if this is about, because I'm seeing this other scenario as well, if this is about you being in a toxic relationship with someone that, I don't know, you don't really feel like this is the one and you're kind of waiting for signs or opportunities for you to kind of tell, okay, I'm done with this relationship, I think I deserve better and I need to be with someone that is right for me, then this can be the card telling you you need to set them free because staying with them just because you don't want to be alone or just because you're waiting for something to manifest for you to actually get an opportunity to be with someone, it can be because you are afraid to just face yourself and to love yourself in the very first place for you to be ready to be in a loving relationship. So if you love them or if you loved them in that scenario, <clears throat> then that can be that you need to set them free and move on to what is next. Because if you're being pushed or if you have this inspiration to start something new, then that can be because you are feeling the urge to be yourself, to love yourself, to celebrate yourself before being with someone. Because it could be that you need to be ready before being in that relationship. That may be for little people just saying, but that may be a message you needed to hear to set yourself free from any relationship that is not 
really empowering anymore, but just stick around because it's comfortable or this is a routine. Far away is nothing but distance. I'm seeing this distance becoming a bit difficult and this can be for you or the other person or just distancing yourself from love is becoming very difficult. But I really sense that thing, things are going to manifest for both groups so you just have to be hopeful and just understand that this is manifesting when you are ready and the person is ready and when everything or this atmosphere and situations are the best for you to have the best relationship. But being far away from each other may be a bit difficult for you this month. If you are in a relationship already, yes, it can be a bit challenging, but stay calm, everything is going to be okay. And I'm sure you will find a way for you to travel to the person and get closer. Now, if you are hoping that someone is coming your way and you want to be with someone and really connect with that one, just stay hopeful because this is manifesting and do not create more distance in your head because the universe is going to create it, okay? After, I don't want to miss a second with you. Of course, I mean, you don't want to be in separation. You don't want to be far away from that person. That's what I'm getting here. So even the person is not wanting to miss any time now. And this can also be announcing that this person is a bit impatient now they don't want to wait or you don't want to wait you don't want to miss you know some time and some big evolution with the person you really want to grow together so maybe this wish is what is going to allow this distance to fade away so now the last message i will be all that you want and get myself together because you keep me from falling apart. Beautiful. So I'm seeing someone that is support, someone that is here for the other person, and that is wanting to be here for the other one. This is so beautiful. This reading was so inspiring. Uh, I'm sorry this was a bit long, really. I really wanted to go in depth, but I think I, I went too extra on this one. Uh, I hope you like this reading. If you do, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one, if it was accurate to your situation. Put a thumbs up, this is always super helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about this reading, but also what you want to see in other readings, the topics you want me to cover. This is always super interesting. Take good care of your crystal souls. I love you. You're precious.